What's up, traders? Another good trading day. Let's find out what we did on the other side. What's up, traders? It's your boy Marv, the man, the myth, the professor. Uh, your go-to guy in this day trading stock education in regards to penny stocks, things of that nature. So anyway, what happened today? Well, there was not a lot of plays pre-market, first and foremost, that at least fit my criteria. There was only three. Uh, one of them X itself out early. And then, of course, uh, the other two I actually did trade. So we're going to talk about those. But as we always do, we start with the market so everybody knows what's going on. I want you to be hip to what the market is doing, how it's ebbing, how it's flowing. That's extremely important. So let's go ahead and start with the Dow as we usually do. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. We're going we're gonna to see what the Dow looks like. All right, traders, so here we go. We have the Dow pulled up. And as we can see, um, yesterday we talked about this well, two days ago, Monday, we said this is a, this is a possible reversal uh, candle. And then the, the next day we got this pullback, which made the reversal look like it was uh, in sync, but we didn't get any follow through. So that's actually a good thing if you're into a bullish market. Now, if you're trying to short this, then you don't want to see this. OK, but it's still a small day. Look, it's really not even peaking uh, above this. But we know this. We know that if it, if it you know, we, we got a day that's that's up so far. What time is it? It's uh, I don't know, skin 30, something like that. I can't I think it's about noon. Where's my phone? Uh, yeah, 1220. OK, so um, we still got 40 minutes left in the market. Ain't no telling. Uh, but at this point, it looks like it's uh, it's going to uh, attempt to, you know, make this run. Maybe not today, but but without with, throughout the week, make this run out of the box. Remember, if you've been following me for a while, I told you this box. This is a fib box that usually says this. OK, for those of you who do not know, a fib box says above the box. You can be bullish below the box. You can be bearish inside the box is any man's game. You don't know. OK, so we haven't broke bullish yet. But look at these MAs. Those are good looking signals. OK, they're trying to go back up. The yellow is the smaller. That's my 8 MA. The blue is my 20. The red is my 200. So we can see that the 8, the small one, crossed the big one. OK, and it's, it's going back up. You'll, you'll see, you'll know these things are good when this yellow crosses the red. And this blue comes back and crosses the red. That's when we know things will be well. OK, let's look at the spy. Usually it doesn't look too much different. OK, usually it doesn't look too much different at all. Uh, so we are just going to. Yeah, same thing, but just a bigger, you know, more of a gap. But you can see it's still working. It's got a, it's got a ways to go to get out of its box. OK, um, so essentially we just got to let it all play out, man. Um, um, it, this went from a reversal candle. It looked like it wanted to go down. So the next day having a, a, all this bottoming tail, a reversal candle that says, hey, we want to continue. Let me say it better. A continuation candle that says we do not want to sell off. We want to keep it going. We see the MAs are curling up. Those are all good signs. OK, now what did I get into today? The first one that I am going to talk about is MEIP. And I'm going to look at that sold off. I'm going to get it onto the 15 minute time frame. Um, because that's what I work off of. OK. Now. Pre-market, I'm going to show you what I see pre-market because I want you to understand that you don't know what's coming. OK. Pre-market, my game plan was simple and I wrote this up on my PowerPoint, but I'm going live right now um, while the market is actually open. I'm trying to get these videos done early so I can get them out early. So anyhow, this is what it looked like pre-market. OK. And so the first buy area. Truthfully, I actually didn't have this line pre-market. I, I added that line later. The first buy, buy area for me was 260. OK, I just thought that that was the pivot. You know, there's a small base being built here. I could have legitimately used this. Remember, I look for three things. One, the launch candle. Where did the move start? This is where it started. OK, we don't see it coming all the way down here. OK, the second thing I look for is the pivot. Where did it pivot? OK, boom, here is the pivot. The third thing I look for is the strongest volume slash body candle. Here's the problem. The body of this candle was it, it, it. There is none. This is a complete doji. OK. The body of this candle is a little more legit, but the volume in this candle uh, is not equal to that one. So I just kind of said, you know what? 
This is where all the buyers showed up. This is the most indecisive candle. I'm going to play the 260. So I actually didn't play 286. Okay, I didn't play that. Uh, I played 260, and we'll see what happened. Now, here's the deal. Let me bring you the mark. Bring it up. Okay. <clears throat> it looks like this um, 286 held and, and ran, but that's actually deceptive. You got to look into the smaller time frame to see that it did not. It opened, uh, where did this candle open? <clears throat> Here at 306, and then it kind of took off. And it came back, and it and and when it touched here and tried to move back up, this is the weakness it showed. Okay, so I actually didn't get in here. One of my buddies did. Uh, it didn't work out. It could have worked out if he would have got out soon, but you know, I, I'm sure, it, like all of us, he was expecting this to bounce. Okay, I had an order sitting right here at 265. It came in, and I actually got executed on this candle. I didn't even wait for this side of it. I it came in here. It ran back up to 280, so I got in at 265. It ran up back up to 280, and it kept showing me that it couldn't break it. Now, this is a level two. For those of you who understand what level two is, I was able to read level two to understand it. It was showing weakness, so I literally got out at 280, and then it sold off, and it went down to 260, and then bounced to $3, okay? Don't matter to me. I still walked out of it with a 6% trade. That's what I was here to do was to make some money. Now, I, if I would have held for 260 okay, and let this go through, yeah, I would have got my full 10% that I'm always looking for. Just didn't work out that way and such is life. You know, I'm not mad at none of that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> that was that particular trade. Now, the next stock that we're going to look at is S-O-N-N. Let's go, sit, go ahead and see uh, how that one played out on our um, trading journey today. Okay. So let's go ahead and share my screen again. Okay, now, bu, 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 bu. oh, son, I got to change it. Son, here we go. Uh, here's what was going on with this one. Okay, this one had all kind of action. Uh, let me, yeah, you're not supposed to be there. Okay, this one was, this one had like multiple levels. Okay, but again, let's go to what it looked like. I want you to know what it looked like when I'm making this plan at six in the morning. Okay, because it looks different then. So here, here were my options, okay? Option number one, buy area. I knew something was wrong. This, this is not supposed to be here. Let me take this out. This was from um, when I, I, I bought it on a dip. We'll see that later. Um, I bought it twice today. So option number one is 920-ish, 918 area. Uh, that's the first buy area. Look at this candle. It's a beautiful candle. It's very big, strong body. It's good, okay? The next area that I would be willing to buy is this candle this is another very strong candle okay and this is at the 812 area and then of course there's the pivot area here that here came and pivoted and boom so those were the three locations i would have been willing to buy this i would have tested all three of them given the opportunity today okay but let's see what happens okay now boom this thing opens up and look at that bye bye okay bye bye so i put another line here the lot where it launched at, okay? Because this is the launch in the open, like in the regular market, right? And so, like, I'm like, oh, this thing will probably it'll never come back. I probably won't get a chance. But then I have a couple strategies, the high volume play and then the MA. This was so far from the MA that I knew that, not that I knew. Let me say it this way. I was willing to take a chance to trade this if it came into the 20 MA on the 15 minute time frame and I did I put an order in at nine what was it, excuse me 1085 no excuse me 1095 and then it came right here in a 1095 and it bounced up to 1180 at one point so let me just, just do the math real quick remember um, I'm looking for 10 percent now you don't know this um, I have a rule actually this didn't fall within the rule so it doesn't matter usually my rule is I'm looking for 10% in the first hour of the market, and basically from 8 a.m. on, I'm looking for 5 I'm only playing 5% trades unless I see something that is setting up absolutely 100% perfect, okay? So I'm, all I'm looking for is 5% at this point, especially after I've already took a winning trade, right? So here it is. It comes in here, 1095, uh, 1095 is what I got executed at. That means I need a dollar and uh, nine cents. We'll just call it a yeah, dollar and nine cents. For 10%, right? But I'm looking for five. So that's only 54 cents. All I'm looking for 
is 54 cents. So as soon as this thing comes to 1095 and it gets above basically uh, 1150, I've already hit 5%. I executed this trade. I got out in the 60s, uh, 1160s, and it ran up again a little bit, and then it faded. Okay, and and so I got out right when I needed to. Now let's see what else happened. Now it did come into our first buy area, but it pulled back deeper than we may have liked. Look, and then it kept going right, um, and now. You know, you got a decision to make. You could take an L had you uh, triggered into that. I did not because I had already, you know, I was good. I had already hit the so I was I was good at that point. Um, anytime you're walking out with 10% with or more on, on money earned for the day, you had a good day. You can't do that at the bank. You can't do it. You can put, check your savings, see what percentage they give you. Okay, so I was at that point, I was good, but we can see it kind of leveled out here. Let's see where it's at live. Okay, and then they had another sell off. Okay, so it's here. It's here at the second buy area. So you could have got this. Uh, the second buy area is 812. Uh, the, so you would need uh, 81 cents for 10%. So let's see. If it came into 812 and we need 80 cents, so let's just call it 80 for math, uh, we need 892. The high of this candle is 880. So it didn't give you a full 10% run, but you damn sure got 5%, right? So so that would have, would have been a good opportunity in area to make a little bit more money you know i could have padded you know another five percent onto my day would have took it to 15 percent but either way you know you, you just you just can't as they say you can't go broke taking profits okay um now let me just show you something man because i keep track of everything this is my april so far this is from last week and then i update everything through the through each day um so so this is really april 6th through april 13th um matter of fact i can actually just change that now Okay. Um, actually, excuse me, 14th. I already put today's numbers in. Okay. So this is through the 14th. And I always do that so I don't forget. But just so you see, look at this. Look at this overall. We've taken 25 trades. Okay. 11 and 4 on first attempt buys. Second and uh, 5 and 0 on second attempt buys. I love that second attempt. 4 and 1 on high, high volume plays for a total of 20. For a total of 20 and 5. Okay. Which means. I'm 15 units up going into April so far. That is a very good month. Man, that's awesome. Okay, and I'm just telling you, I'm showing you this, none of this to brag. Oh, sorry, none of this to brag or to, you know, to impress you, but just to impress upon you that if you can stick to your script, if you can follow your plan and do what it is that you know is successful for you, I do what's what works for me. But when you do what works for you, as long as you got a solid plan, discipline will pay you handsomely man it will pay you handsomely you just got to be willing to stick it out and, and put in that grind and put in that time you trust me man it took me a while to get here but i know exactly what i'm looking for exactly why i'm looking for it and exactly what i expect it to do when it gets to those locations because i got <laughs> my cousin called me the other day laughing she said you know your powerpoint is roughly 800 slides long I was like, yeah, because I screenshot everything that I see that fits what I'm looking for. And I've been doing this for a while. So, you know, that's what it's about. Anyway, hopefully you guys like what we got going today. I'm going to keep the content coming. Uh, it's your boy, the man, the myth, the professor. I'm like, you know what? If we can make it another good day tomorrow, if we could go three days in a row with, with good trades, I'll be taking a shot on tomorrow's video. Uh, it's going to be early, but it'll be all good. All right. Y'all enjoy, man. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. See you next time.